uh, dear participants, dear guests, uh, here we are again and uh, we'll come back again after this uh, uh, virtual uh, coffee break. Uh, okay, uh, we will uh, soon, uh, immediately, not soon, immediately start, uh, start uh, or open the second uh, session. I call uh, Dr. Salah uh, Din Ben Hassin Ahsan. Uh, is he with, with us? He will be the reporter of this uh, session, and uh, I will continue presiding this uh, second session. Uh, uh, please, uh, Lubna, uh, tell me if uh, Miss uh, Fatima Zuhra Marj is here. Uh, no, I think she is absent. Ah, she has left. Yes. She maybe, she ha maybe she has uh, an internet connection problem. Uh, we move to the second participant, uh, Dr. Basil Al Khudari from Palestine. Yes, uh, he is here with us. Welcome, uh, welcome, <laughs> Palestinian. <laughs> Thank you. Palestinian. Just can, because, okay. of, because of some technical procedures, can you please move to the third one and then I'll come back again? Uh, okay, never, never mind, doctor, never mind. Thank you very much. Okay, you are welcome. Uh, we move to, to Dr. Fethi Shuwaiter from Yemen. Dr. Uh, Fethi? He's here with us. Yeah. I am there. Okay, hello, I'm Dr. Fethi, and welcome. Thank you very much. And thank you for uh, being with us uh, since uh, uh, the um, uh, demonstration uh, session. It's my honor. Thank you. Yeah, you have been with, with us in the first and the second uh, demonstration session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you the mic is yours, uh, Doctor. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala khatami al-mursaleen Muhammad ibn Abdullah al-Sadiq al-Amin. First of all, thank you very much indeed to have me with you in this symposium. I consider myself very close and grateful to uh, Mohammed al-Bashir Ibrahim University in Borj Bori Ridge because I had the honor to participate there for two conferences in, two, uh, in 2015 and 2018. So I'm glad here to be with you in this virtual symposium titled the first international webinar, University Role Serving Society During COVID-19 COVID Pandemic International Experience. I'd like to thank Professor Amal Choudhury, the president of this symposium, for inviting me. Thanks to Dr. Professor Abdulhaq Bubatra, Borj Bawari director, for his uh, sponsorship. Thank you to, to the scientific committee, represented by Dr. Leila Sheikha and uh, her team for their effort. And th thank her again for the presidency of this uh, session. Thank you for organizing community, Ms. Sajia Busitta and the other team. Thanks to Mr. Uh, Ms. Lubna Nasser for her training. Thanks to Professor Tariq Al Mansoub, President of Abe University, for his support. Thanks to Dr. Mohammed Al Qawas, who did my analysis for my data. Thank you to Mr. Ms. Sheikha Rahab, who helped me with typing. Thank you for all my technical, uh, technical team. Thank you all members, guests, and everyone, uh, and welcome here. Uh, let me, uh, let me uh, go to my uh, application, my presentation. Uh, okay. Hello. Can you see uh, my presentation? Okay. So according to the importance of this symposium topic, I choose to write about Yemeni universities' role in teaching process and serving society during COVID-19 pandemic. Of course, as uh, we know, please, coronavirus. Please, uh, please, please, uh, yes. Doctor, uh, Doctor uh, Schweiter, uh, there is some par parasite uh, in the in, in our the ears. Yeah. So uh, you use please one uh, just one device. Okay. Okay. Is it clear now? 
Can you hear me now? Yeah. Continue, okay. please. So coronavirus made a very big impact on everything that we know in the world. For example, traveling, manufacturing, agriculture, tourism, oil industry, stock markets, media, sports, politics, etc., was impacted by coronavirus. Of course, education was not an exception. Schools and universities were closed before students in attempt to reduce virus spread. Even the, holy, the two holy mosques in Mecca and Medina was shut before prayers, which hurted us deeply. So Yemeni universities was, were in front of a huge challenge. The study aims to focus on the role was played by Yemeni universities administrations during the three months of pandemic but we're not ignoring the dualism that Yemen is suffering this pandemic and the war which Yemen suffering for more than five years. And there's a huge influence included salary cut of official employers and academic professors and losing many infrastructures which were weak already. Considering that, Maybe we shouldn't just focus on how did administrations behave and just their performance, but we should to get some lessons from that or from what happened and develop ourselves. Methodology of my study depended on a survey, contained uh, some questions, guided some people, work in administrations and other have a related to universities as academic and uh, staff and students. Hypothesis for study was put in a null hypothesis, which means we suppose that administrations of the Yemeni universities couldn't deal with the pandemic according to the, the, to the dualism we just indicated. Survey contained four topics for explore. The first of them about the strategy. Was there a strategy, a strategy to deal with the pandemic? And, and if there one, is it suitable enough? The second indicator about the, the, the teaching process and serving community, does it continue or stop? And if, they, if it uh, was continued, is it sufficient or not? The third indicator was about how much can weak infrastructure effort of universities administrations ruled during the pandemic noticing that professors didn't have their salaries for more than four years and there is no governmental electricity for more than five years and uh, the last indicator was about feedback which indicate how the fluence of information and communication between above and below sectors The results showed that there was a, dif a difference between Yemen universities in dealing with the pandemic in many ways, because every university dealt with that situation in its own per perspective. And there are many details to talk about, but I will pass on it. But generally, our four indicators showed strategy to deal with the pandemic was weak the teaching process and serving society was medium. Infrastructure influence was big as expected. Feedback was medium. My conclusion was that lead us to show that COVID-19 sh uh, should, we should consider it as, as a, a lesson to uh, not just deal with, but uh, we have many problems. We hope that uh, COVID-19 ends soon, but our problems before COVID-19 and after it will, will face us every time. So we have to make solution for them and we should learn every day and we should expect unexpected. We can find international experience and adapt the success ones. There are many free, easy and affordable solutions but Yemen has a unique experience 
with that dualism between the war and the pandemic. So the recommendation goes in the, the field of planning, there is, should be a developed philosophy, clear vision, applicable goals, and prepare a specialized team with experience and knowledge and training employments. In the field of communication and information, there should be effective system for interior and exterior, external communication. And they should review information carefully. In the field of infrastructure, my recommendations go to the public university. It's okay to have some experience from private university in financial acts. And give holidays to those employers aren't necessary at this period until salary returns. Thank you very much for listening. And if there are any questions, I'm ready to that. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Schweiter. Um, I would like to uh, w uh, to send a warm welcome to the uh, rector of Abe University, who is uh, assisting. Yes, he is assisting with us uh, uh, this uh, communication, uh, this um, event. So uh, welcome again, and I welcome also the guests who are uh, supporting you uh, behind the, the screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, in in summary, uh, in summary, um, I uh, confirm that uh, during war the responsibility and uh, efforts became uh, will, will be doubled. It's uh, very hard to manage crisis uh, during uh, war also. So, um, uh, Doctor uh, uh, Doctor uh, Ashwater conducted a survey amongst uh, uh, Yemen universities, and uh, the main result of his work is that uh, there, there, he, uh, there is the perceived differences uh, between universities, Yemeni universities, in uh, uh, in terms of uh, the action, as undertaking actions in uh, dealing with the crisis. Uh, so uh, thank you uh, again, Doctor, and uh, welcome. Okay, uh, maybe uh, I will be. Uh, uh, Dr. Schweiter, uh, is uh, your uh, rec uh, uh, is your uh, rector willing to uh, tell us something? I can give him the no, mic. No, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Lubna, let me know uh, if uh, Dr. Uh, Basil Al Khudari is ready. Yeah, the mic is yours, Doctor. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everyone. Uh, Professor Dr. Abdelhaq Boubatra, Director of uh, Mohammed Al Bashir Ibrahim University, Dr. Ashraf Mansour, Secretary General of Arab Union for Sustainable Development and Environment, uh, Professor Dr. Amal Shotari, the webinar president, and Dr. Layla Sheikha, President of Scientific Committee and the President of the Current Session. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you so much about this very prestigious uh, webinar which discussed the very important topic uh, around the world right now. Uh, and I would like to uh, share with you the Islamic University of Gaza experience uh, in serving society during the uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so, that I would like to uh, uh, present with you or share with you uh, the role of Ex uh, Islamic University of Gaza in serving society uh, during COVID-19. Uh, as we have uh, 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 listened yesterday about many discussions and speech which was, which was were actually very valuable about the role of universities in serving society. Uh, in terms of education or in terms of uh, social uh, services and uh, so on. And we have seen the importance of university in uh, actually uh, at the time of emergencies. And this time actually is very, very crucial uh, when we speak about the uh, uh, Corona uh, or COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So the rule is very important for the university as well as in the in social activities or in the uh, uh, education. Uh, as we know, in response, in response to uh, spreading COVID-19 pandemic, universities worldwide have been forced rapidly 
to increase online teaching, which has typically entailed unexpected spending. It seems that online learning will continue until a successful vaccine for COVID-19 has been uh, approached. Uh, there are many researchers actually, and there are lots of studies and papers were uh, published during this uh, period about the uh, COVID-19. Uh, so many researchers like uh, Wang uh, and his colleagues suggest that uh, during COVID-19, researchers outside medical fields should use their professional knowledge and their specialty, contribute to the understanding and exp explanation of the pandemic and support prevention and control. They also suggest that students can play an important role at the time of the pandemic. They can help social stability by assisting community safety and establishing confidence in the community to overcome the pandemic. In terms of the context of my study, which is, will be the Islamic University uh, experience in serving uh, society uh, during COVID-19, the context of the study, we are speaking about a very brief about the Gaza Safe. So the Gaza Safe is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. There are about 2 million people live in just 365 kilometers, according to Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics. Regarding with COVID-19 pandemics, uh, uh, there are a total of 11,217 samples were tested in the Gaza Strip. 11,147 samples were negative, thankfully, and 70 were positive. Of them, of the 70 cases, uh, 41 cases were recovered, 80, uh, 28 cases were active and one case, one case uh, died in the Gaza Strip. Uh, all, when we speak about the Islamic University, the Islamic University of Gaza is one of the seven, over seven universities that are located in the Gaza Strip. The University, the Islamic University of Gaza, according to UniRank engine, declared as the top all Palestinian universities this year in 2020 and ranked 14 in the Arab world as one of the best Arabic-speaking universities around the world. According to the Union Rank, IU Gaza ranked 1,499 among 13,623 international higher education institutions in 200 world countries. Uh, aim of this study, the current study aims to answer the following question, what is the role of the IU, IU Gaza in serving the society during COVID-19. Uh, in order to answer this question, actually the methods depend on the sample and procedures. The sample consists of the Emergency Committee for Medical Awareness, E-Learning Emergency Committee, Business and Technology Incubator, and PhD students of the Education College at IO Gaza. The author has contacted, contact, contacted the key persons of these committees and made semi-structural interview with them. Uh, the questions were related to the university services, to the, to the community during COVID-19, and the question was, for example, what was your plan when the COVID-19 pandemic started? How you serve the community during this period, uh, and etc. Data collection, the data was collected either by face-to-face -face interview or by email. Results. Since starting of COVID-19 pandemic, IO Gaza has established three emergency committees. The first one was the Higher Administrative Emergency Committee, second one, the Emergency Committee for Medical Awareness, and the third one was e-learning emergency uh, committee. Each one of these committees has its main roles and responsibilities. I will and I will just discuss each these roles and responsibilities for each one of them. First of all, the Higher Administrative Emergency Committee. The responsibilities for this committee were facilitates the communications amongst the uh, committees, organizes regular meetings with the administrative and academic staff, provides the groups with logistic materials, follow up the implementation of a plan, lectures and activities, and finally evaluates the progress of the educational process as a whole. For the uh, Emergency Committee for Medical Awareness, a procedure action plan was put into to practice to protect people attending to the university, such as gloves, alcohol, gel, chlorine, disinfectants, and etc. IOCAS assigned an agreement with the Ministry of Health 
in Palestine to utilize the university hospital as a COVID-19 hospital. The website along with the all educational materials produced were made available for the Ministry of Health Awareness bodies. Uh, IUG has participated in one educational event held at the European Gaza Hospital. And one of the most important issues is that this committee established a website to deal with the, uh, this uh, uh, pandemic. And I hope it's, it's, is it, is it, sorry. I have to show you this one. Can I show you this one? Yes, oh, yes, you yes, yes, yeah, this one. Yeah, okay, that one, fine. Have you seen it? The website? Okay, we can see it. Okay, Go on, doctor. Fine. Okay, that's fine. So this is a website, look at, uh, uh, belong to the, uh, 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 the committee for uh, awareness for the public, and it has many actually uh, 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 topic like the definition of the virus, and we have here lots of information about the COVID-19 virus, the disease, the treatment, the vaccine, the, uh, how the, uh, uh, can uh, uh, spread among the people, uh, the protective measures, all of these uh, things, all of this stuff were in the uh, website. Also, we have videos about this uh, important information. It's published for the community as a whole. So we have here uh, videos about the COVID-19 virus how they can prepare like disinfectant at home. Uh, there is like uh, e-learning and we have here uh, how we can face the uh, coronavirus in terms of the Sharia. Here we have some of the, the procedures uh, 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 conducted by Islamic University, uh, some of the uh, videos, uh, uh, Western videos and all of these are translated into Arabic to serve the uh, community. Uh, also, we have some brochures and posts that were, were very beneficial for the community at the, the in, at Palestine or at the, at the Gaza Strip. So we have here uh, all of uh, the majority of these actually posters were uh, translated from the uh, 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 from the WHO website related to Ramadan uh, fasting and, and Corona. And some of these we have here all about. Uh, uh, brochure about COVID-19, what is it, how we can protect ourselves, all of these, and what uh, uh, all of this stuff actually were published for the community to be aware of the uh, nature of the COVID-19, how we can protect ourselves and how we can actually, uh, uh, what we have to do when we feel symptoms of COVID-19 or, 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 or what else. So all of these uh, brochures actually shared with the community to say the community as well as and we have here as well uh, uh, some articles and uh, papers we are uh, published in this website some of this as arabic and some of this english translated into arabic and we have here to contact us if you have some of these issues uh, back to my presentation this uh, is what the doctor, was, please, yeah. doctor please uh, you have only two minutes to uh, finish really Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure it's, it's, it's enough for me, but I'll try my best. Uh, okay, so uh, moving to the next, uh, uh, next, yes, this is the like uh, a brief, uh, like uh, a figure about the uh, uh, higher uh, com uh, committee of uh, awareness. It's like, this is what we just showed you uh, before. And here we have uh, e-learning emergency committee. And it's very actually important for the community as well, because the, you know, uh, now we move to e-learning and the e-learning is just not like an issue, a, a, a new issue for us here in Palestine. It's established in 2001. And it, the, we used here like academic stuff, used the model since that uh, uh, date or after, after that. So many platforms are available, such Moodle e-learning system, virtual classroom platform, all of which are linked to the university computerized system. Uh, uh, the e-learning center has published around 6,780 recorded lectures in 487 modules. Furthermore, more than 200,000 persons from Gaza and Arab 
countries benefited from this uh, uh, lecture. Also, we have business and technology incubator, BTI, uh, and uh, the, the, the aim of this uh, incubator uh, was to serve the community through uh, uh, training courses of the uh, technology uh, program and they, how they can use it. In light of COVID-19 crisis, the declaration of the uh, state of emergency in the country, the BTI team starts to work online instead of training on the classes actually. And they do many projects like developing the skills of creativity and leadership for Palestinian uh, youth. This is one of the uh, projects. Also, they launched the anti-COVID-19 competition, which aims to attract entrepreneur uh, idea, ideas that help in finding solutions to confront the new coronavirus. Doctor, uh, dear doctor, uh, sorry, sorry. If, uh, I, I'm obliged to uh, get back the mic and uh, you will have the opportunity to tell us uh, more about your experience during uh, the discussion session. Thank you, doctor. Can you just, I just give you the conclusion in one minute? Okay. I think okay. I'm back. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay. As we said, we have these two uh, actually uh, uh, committees. And uh, lastly, we have PhD students at the Education College in Shias, a project that aims to train a large variety of university professors, teachers, educational uh, supervisors, and university students to use many programs and applications of technology, which offering alternatives to facilitate the progress of distance learning. Uh, finally, I would like to thank Professor Ibrahim al astar Dean of Educational College, Professor Abdul Rafi Manama, Head of the Emergency Committee for Medical Awareness, uh, Dr. Muatas Saad of the uh, Learning Emergency Committee, Dr. Majdi uh, Aqil, the Head of the Department of uh, Curriculum and Teaching Methods, and Mr. Basil Kandil, Director of Business and Projects Development for their uh, support. And uh, thank you very much for your listening. Uh, thank you, doctor. Uh, okay. Uh, first, uh, we, I would like to address a, a warm greetings from Algeria to our brothers in Gaza and uh, all uh, Palestine. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Um, Khudari conducted a survey by, based on a face-to-face -face interview and uh, electronic one. Um, the most important uh, thing uh, he spoke uh, about is the setup uh, of uh, the, the setting up of uh, uh, three uh, emergency uh, uh, community com committees that uh, uh, all uh, that uh, so all the efforts uh, might be more uh, framed and uh, organized and uh, these uh, three uh, com uh, emergency committees use it. Uh, uh, I see different ICT solutions to uh, be more closer uh, to, uh, to to be closer to the society. So uh, thank you for uh, your contribution, uh, Doctor. And um, uh, I move uh, to uh, Mr. Abdul Hamid Bouchabour. Mr. Hamid uh, Abdul Hamid Bouchabour. Uh, he is here with us. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, please give him the mic, uh, Lubna. Yes. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Go yes. On. Good. Good. Good morning, everyone. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wassalatu wassalam ala ashraf al-mursaleen. I would like to uh, thank Miss uh, Sheha, Dr. Sheha, for this uh, opportunity, and also Miss uh, or Professor Shutri for this uh, amazing webinar. Uh, my uh, communication is going to be about the uh, the role of the university teachers in promoting the psychological uh, well-being of uh, the home quarantined individuals. I know that uh, so many, uh, let's say, so many contributions went into uh, materializing the uh, let's say uh, into materializing the university know-how and university information to help uh, the society in uh, this uh, special situation. 
Uh, however, it's a little bit known about uh, helping society when it comes to intangible uh, parts, intangible dimensions, especially uh, psychological well-being, because uh, material well-being can be restored uh, if we uh, create a new, uh, for example, new objects to treat or to deal with uh, this uh, pandemic. The psychological scarring uh, of the home quarantined individual uh, more or further helping to uh, the home quarantined individuals. We know that COVID-19 pandemic has affected negatively the psychological well-being of the uh, home quarantined individuals because uh, according to the American Psychological Association and uh, so many other studies, the uh, let's say the levels of stress of anxiety of depression have skyrocketed uh, due to this uh, pandemic so uh, we need some measures to help restore or uh, support the psychological well-being of uh, the home quarantined persons uh, fortunately we have a good psychological research on mental health and psychological well-being uh, uh, especially from uh, the contributions of uh, psychological uh, pioneers such as Maslow, Rogers, etc. Now, uh, we know that psychological well-being du uh, during crisis uh, gets affected massively, uh, whether by pandemics, economic crisis, uh, social crisis, etc. So, uh, supporting the psychological well-being of the individuals is highly uh, highly essential. Now we want to know if the, our university teachers help really support the uh, psychological well-being of the individuals during the pandemic. I know that it's a lot to take in, especially for university teachers. So they are demanded to teach, uh, to look for solutions, to materialize uh, their know-how, to create uh, materials to deal with uh, the, uh, the pandemic. But uh, how about the psychological part, the intangible parts of uh, the, the, the crisis? Let's begin with a small definition and then we go directly to the study. According to Burns, the psychological well-being uh, contains, uh, let's say, inter and intra-individual levels. It has so many uh, dimensions. We can categorize the psychological well-being into, let's say, two to three categories. The first part is the eudaimonic well-being. Uh, we mean by eudaimonic well-being, self-acceptance uh, self for, uh, for uh, the, uh, the individuals. It means uh, they accept who they are as persons. Also, positive relations with others. We have to maintain positive relations with others, stability to, uh, to love the others, and having warm, uh, warm and trusting, uh, let's say, relationships with others. We have autonomy. It means be able to be independent, to be self-determined. Uh, this uh, also environmental mastery, especially environmental mastery, because uh, we, uh, let's say, empower the individuals to uh, just hold or be in control of this new or uh, forced environment. Another uh, part of the eudaimonic well-being is the purpose of life. Sometimes with, with uh, so much information, the flood of information that comes from the social media uh, makes it ambiguous to, uh, to know what's the future or what's the society post uh, this pandemic. So we need to maintain the purpose of life and also the personal growth of the individuals. The other parts of psychological well-being remain affect pleasure and happiness. We don't mean that we are happy all the time, but uh, let's say uh, happy people are tend to contribute more to society. Other constructs of uh, psychological well-being, optimism. We have to remain optimistic. We have to have hope, vitality during this pandemic. So the question really is, uh, what is the role of teachers in all of that? For this uh, question, we had uh, the descript uh, descriptive methodology as uh, a mean to collect data. We have uh, the population is the home quarantined individuals and to be specific, the ones who interact with uh, the university teachers because sampling in this, uh, during this uh, pandemic is not easy because we use a snowball sampling. Uh, via, uh, let's say, uh, electronic devices, via online service, etc. 
So the survey content contained uh, many items that, uh, let's say, scale or uh, measure the dimensions of the psychological well-being. Uh, the uh, eudonic and the uh, eudaimonic uh, well-being of the individuals. But they are, uh, let's say, a little bit modified so that we measure the role of the teacher in helping and supporting these dimensions. The results of this, of, uh, uh, of this uh, let's say, small research led us to, uh, let's say, uh, 40 uh, uh, the total of the sample was 40 uh, per, uh, persons or individuals who interact with the, uh, let's say, the teachers. The frequency of uh, they, uh, the range of age goes from 20 years to plus 45. Uh, most of the respondents were uh, per, persons who have university diplomas or are postgraduates. So, uh, according to previous studies, these two categories are more affected with the information that comes from uh, the, uh, the news of the pandemic. Also, uh, the economic status takes the normal curve of GOS. If we take, uh, for example, uh, the sample data in general, we know that uh, the, uh, the major problem with the, the data is that uh, with the persons is that they don't, just few of them uh, follow the university teachers through social media or through uh, television and other devices. I'd like to just uh, cite just one uh, relationship between uh, communicating with university teachers and uh, following the university teachers uh, through television, because it's important for university teachers to interact with the society, not only to contribute with uh, just uh, the research or uh, information, but also to support them. So in general, to uh, go directly to the results, we found out that university teachers have uh, uh, a role in supporting just some of the dimensions of well-being. Especially uh, when, we, when we talk about the eudaimonic well-being, we have the autonomy. It means university teachers help the society or the ones who uh, they interact with, with uh, being uh, autonomic, it means being independent. However, uh, helping others with environmental mastery, it means how to deal with the situation is still weak with the 3.71. Uh, uh, what, what came uh, as a shock to me is that the role of the teachers in hedonic well-being, because I found that they have more roles in hedonic well-being because they, when you interact with the others, they, they, they make them feel safe. They make them feel happy. They uh, restore hope with the others. So this is why we can say that university teachers, uh, let's say, provide a sense of hope, of happiness, of optimism and autonomy. They create a space of self-acceptance and uh, personal growth. But uh, they need to work more on their relations with the others. And uh, so to sum up, uh, as a conclusion of this study, we need to uh, say that the university teachers really help promoting the psychological well-being, but they, uh, they have a good potential, but they need to work more, especially in helping society deal with the uh, let's say the special dimensions of psychological well-being, especially environmental mastery. Uh, thank you so much for uh, your attention. And I will be looking forward to any uh, questions about this study. Thank you so much, okay. Ms. Leila. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abdelhamid Bushbor, for respecting your time. A second by second. <laughs> okay, uh, I agree with you, uh, Mr. Abdel Hamid, that uh, and we uh, that we can't deny the, the importance of the psychological uh, psychological well-being for um, uh, for 
human uh, human being uh, to stay held and to stay strong in facing uh, serious problems and to feel confident and uh, and safe. Uh, let me tell you uh, something about my experience. Uh, from the beginning of uh, the the pandemic, I was uh, uh, almost every day receiving uh, a questionnaire, uh, sponsored or not, uh, but about uh, that discuss the psychological uh, uh, matter. Uh, yeah, what uh, what proves and confirms the the importance of uh, this uh, this uh, subject. Uh, so uh, thank you uh, again, uh, Mr. Bushbor. Uh, before passing to uh, the um, last uh, last paper of uh, Professor Dr. Amal with Ms. Rima Alulhi, I would like to welcome uh, the rector of Bashir uh, Ibrahimi University, Professor Abdul Haq Boubetra, and also I would like to welcome uh, the persons who uh, were uh, following us uh, uh, behind uh, the, our, their screens, uh, Mr. or uh, Dr. Ahmed Saeed Nasr Al-Hashimi, uh, and uh, Dr. Uh, Haj Barakat, Dr. Uh, Bouda with uh, Bou Median, and uh, Dr. Saeed Leban, who is uh, presenting today uh, the Arab Union for Sustainable, Sustainable Development and uh, Environment. So, uh, welcome again. Uh, now, uh, I would like to give uh, the mic to uh, Professor Amal Shoutri or Ms. Rima Alwilhi uh, to present their uh, work. The mic is yours, Lubna. Uh, the mic is for uh, Professor Emil Shusri. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. Okay. I am not here as uh, president of the webinar now. <laughs> I am the uh, researcher. Uh, the Lubna? Are you ready? Yes, I'm with you. Okay. Uh, the role of... Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. The role of uh, research laboratories in serving society reading in ministerial evaluation of laboratories. Uh, this uh, paper uh, was prepared by Emel uh, Shutri uh, and Rima Lwilhi, uh, my PhD student. You now that the university role has exceeded the traditional functions of both education and scientific research to a third function, which is the study of the university relationship with its now academic society, economic enterprise, civil society, and, govern and government, by the embodiment of the three dimension of new role of universities, or the third function of universities which are continuing education, innovation, and technologies transfer, and community contribution. The most important mechanism for the university to reflect this new role is the research laboratory established in Algeria universities. The Ministry of Higher Education and the Scientific Research has therefore been submitting these laboratories to periodic evaluation in accordance with an evaluation model of these laboratories through a set of approved standards. So this paper aim, or, uh, aims to answer the following question. The first one, The first one, does the ministerial evaluation keep peace with the new international indicators for measuring the dimension of the new role universities, continuing education, innovation and technology transfer, and the community contribution? The second question, 
What is the role of research laboratories in serving society through ministerial evaluation of research laboratories based on standards auto adopted by a sample of the world Village university laboratory? Uh, uh, study, uh, study hypothesis. The study is based on two, on two hypotheses. The first one, there is a limited keeping up with the international indicator in the ministerial evaluation of the indicator for measuring the dimension of the new role of university, continuing education, innovation, and technology transfer, and community contribution. This is the, the first hypothesis of this study. The second one, limited role of research laboratories in the service of society, of, of society through ministerial evaluation of these laboratories. Research objective. Through this paper, we aim to achieve a range of objectives, including the first one, provide an objective reading of the role of research laboratories in serving society by studying a sample of the laboratories of, at Borsbury University. Second one, discussion of the criteria adopted in the ministerial evaluation model in terms of their adaptation to the three dimensions international indicators of the university of the university new role of serving the community. Given the uh, the presence of many indicators to measure the, the to measure uh, to, measure, to measure, excuse me the dimensions of the new role of the university. We will, we will use a set of indicators proposed by the European Commission within the framework of the lifelong learning program. Uh, the second one, the research laboratories of Borj Bararij University will be examined as a sample in Borj Bararij or at our university. Borsh uh, we have seven uh, la research laboratories. The research methodology, uh, the anat analytical descriptive approach in this study was used to highlight the new role of the university in, serv in serving its community through the sample of research laboratories located at Borsh University based on reading of the period DIC ministerial evaluation of these laboratories. Term of studies, terms of studies, sorry. The first one, the new role university, or the third position, uh, the, the third mission of university. All the opposition uh, or uh, uh, mission. All the activities and services the university carries out to primarily, uh, pri primarily for its non affiliates number member of society, of society organization and institution, institutions as a tool for applying knowledge in various fields and translating it into reality. Continuing education is defined as a system of education or training that began after or during the formal education phase and it's not limited to a specific age group. Uh, uh, innovation is uh, defined also as generating innovative idea ideas and developing new products, services, and processes that are better at life quality. The, the importance of innovation lies in increasing economic growth, enhancing com competitiveness, and uh, creating new jobs. The last one, community participation. Community participation is, uh, in education is defined as the efforts of the educational institution and its administ uh, administrators to col uh, collaborate with the community and surrounding environment. Uh, the last one, European Indicator and Ranking Methodology for University Third Mission, Delphi A3M project, proposed by the European Commission under the Lifelong Learning Program. Uh, the study result, is uh, our, our study attend the following results. The first one, the new part of research laboratories in the new role of the university exists through many indicators really related to continuing education, innovation, and community contribution. 
The second one, same indicators are overlapping in the ministerial evaluation according to the three dimensions of the new role of universities, such as the patent index set up within the scientific and production indicators and failing within the innovation indicators. Uh, there is a limited keeping up with the international indicators in the ministerial evaluation of the indicators for measuring the dimensions of the new role of universities, continuing education, innovation and technology, technology transfer and the community contribution. With the absence of some model, modern indicators, this proved the validity of the, our first hypothesis. There is a limited role of research laboratories in community service through, through the ministerial evaluation of these laboratories, given the evaluation of the study sample, especially with regard to the indicator of continuing education and social contribution, which proved the validity of the second hypothesis. The biggest scores were recorded in the evaluation of, scient of scientific production, especially scientific articles and interventions with the weak in patent and the rest of the indicators. Uh, the, our recommendations, uh, the necessity to keep up with the international indicators in the ministerial evaluation of the, re of the research laboratories, taki taking into account the Algerian specificity. Uh, here we talk about the objective evaluation. Uh, the second one, the moral and material of, uh, valorization of the role of the research laboratories in Algeria through real awareness of their importance because their weak role in community service is linked to the weakness of the adopted policies. In this uh, uh, page, reviews its conduct and provides substantive condition for the embodiment of its objectives as the rehabilitation of its uh, human components. The last recommendation, at the community service department or, or at the community service department in the university's organizational structure to coordinate with the research laboratories in order to serve the community. Uh, we, uh, we used uh, some uh, references in Arabic and, and in uh, English. Uh, thank you for, for your attention. Uh, all, our, uh, all the details uh, we uh, can find it in uh, my final uh, pa paper, me and my uh, PH uh, student, uh, Wilhi Rima. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Shutri, for your um, uh, intervention. Uh, uh, I am very sorry because I have a lot of obligation uh, as uh, president of the uh, webinar. So I am sorry if I can't uh, attend the discussion. I am very sorry. Okay, we understand you, the doctor. You are free. Uh, thank you. Uh, so uh, the research uh, of uh, Professor uh, Shutri is within the themes of uh, the legendary uh, laboratory, as uh, you have seen. Uh, the, uh, the paper of uh, Dr. Um, uh, Professor Shutri concluded that the role of uh, universities in serving society is perceived uh, is perceived in uh, throughout uh, different or, or many indicators, but um, uh, the evaluation of uh, such activities is in somehow neglected by uh, our uh, authorities. Uh, so thank you again, uh, Dr. Uh, Shutri. Uh, now we can open the discussion session. Uh, so, Lubna, please tell me if there is any uh, raised hand. Yes, there is uh, Dr. Tahsin Shola from Egypt, I think. Yes, you can start from uh, from the, the, the top of the screen and uh, give them the uh, the mic, please. Uh, this is mic free for uh, Dr. Tahsin Shola. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to thank everyone uh, who uh, organized this very successful uh, webinar meeting. Uh, and just uh, I've got a comment. Through the two, day, two days, I expected that uh, we will get uh, the artificial intelligence, which is the most important part 
in this uh, pandemic disease uh, because as you all know all the african all the arabic countries they don't have uh, enough money to get the kids to discover or to detect or diagnose the disease so that we get a very few cases but we if we run the, uh, the artificial intelligence uh, to find out according to the international cases the values for the, uh, the, uh, the infected people with the with the disease we can find out how many cases we could expect and how many uh, cases uh, uh, could be uh, sort of like recovered and uh, uh, as well we could expect uh, when the pandemic start and when the pandemic ended and uh, at least we can decide decide when we could open up the, the, the economy or uh, all the, the business or the integration between all the different countries, aeroplanes, uh, those kind of stuff. Uh, that's what I expected. And I hope that you can just run another uh, webinar meeting regarding using the artificial intelligence uh, because it's really important nowadays. Thank you so much for everyone and thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, is any uh, of the uh, contributors uh, would like to uh, to uh, tell us about what uh, about the comment of Dr. Shola? Any raised hand, Lubna? Yes, uh, there is Professor Adel Abdelbas. Okay. Dr. Adel. Dr. Adel? Okay. okay. Assalamu alaikum. Good, good afternoon from Egypt. First of all, thank you for all. For, for you and for Dr. Amal and, and for all guests and participants. They submit fruitful and valuable information. And my, uh, my question is about uh, I, I think teach uh, learning uh, via internet is very uh, useful and is very important uh, nowadays. But what we can do for uh, electrical in, uh, for engineering and medicine uh, career career uh, uh, for uh, uh, engineering and medicine is very difficult. So they work by hand. So what we can do for position or career medical and engineering and more might be agriculture so my think about if we can uh, if we can teach them uh, via internet uh, uh, surgical surgical uh, surgical by internet and go to uh, they, they should go to the faculty to learn by hand for a, a practical experiment thank you this is my questions Uh, doctor, uh, your question is uh, addressed uh, to a specific researcher? Specific, uh, uh, for a student, undergraduate student, what we can do for electrical uh, engineering and, me and medicine. They work, they should work by hand. They should training, practical training. Okay, so I ask uh, our uh, uh, holy um, uh, contributors if uh, anyone would like to respond to the question of uh, our, uh, our uh, of Doctor uh, Adel. Okay. Any participant? Yes, there is uh, uh, Doctor Ben Hassan. Can I give him okay. the mic? Yeah, yeah. Go on, Lubna. Assalamu alaikum. Do you see me? I know you hear me. Okay. 
my uh, my intervention here is not about uh, the question of uh, Mr. Hussein or Professor Hussein, but uh, I will uh, I want to uh, enter in an open discussion with Mr. Amin Naharat, uh, if you permit, of course. Is it possible to enter in uh, yes, it's communication possible. with Mr. Yes. Amin? Lubna, uh, give the mic to Mr. Amin also. Okay. okay. Mr. Amin, uh, yes. yes, yesterday you set a fire in my heart and uh, in my mind. I didn't stop thinking about what you said. Uh, and uh, I want to highlight some points in uh, our discussion now. Um, first of all, before we talk about our duty or uh, what we can uh, do uh, towards our society or let's say uh, our community, uh, let's, let's see uh, how the community sees us, see the teachers, see the uh, university. Uh, before two days, I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, my, uh, actually my best friend. Uh, we were talking together. He works in an economic sector, Naftal, you know it. Uh, he told me that you teachers, you are sleeping and getting paid. That, that's how the society sees us. They don't see that we put uh, our lectures online. They, uh, they don't see uh, that, uh, that we are working at home. They don't see that uh, we we don't sleep or uh, we sleep uh, we don't sleep early like them. We, they don't say that uh, we bring our uh, our work to home. That's the first uh, the first point. Uh, the second point. Uh, the second point. I want to uh, say that the university or the teachers, especially in the uh, uh, technical uh, technical fields, uh, they are working hard to get the society or the community out of this crisis. For example, uh, there is a team in the University uh, of Burj Bahrej. They were working uh, on uh, the respiratory device and they developed it uh, from, uh, from the scratch, like they say. They started from the zero and they developed it, uh, a new one or a good one for two persons, uh, but the uh, the procedures are uh, very slow to industri industrialize uh, industrialize it. Uh, the uh, rector has received them three months ago, and uh, he appreciated the work. But uh, the uh, authorities didn't uh, work on this uh, this uh, stuff. I think they are too slow. The third thing is the is incentives and the mechanism how to um, uh, how to uh, stimulate the researchers and the professors to uh, give their best i think that uh, there are some missing uh, mechanisms in our uh, universities and in our laboratories to uh, to uh, make the uh, researcher doing their their best and that's the three points I want to talk about with me, with you, Mr. Amin. Do you want me to add to, to, I mean, to discuss with you? I am ready to discuss with you, of course. I mean, if you are, if, I mean, uh, uh, if I take my, uh, my experience or my age also, it's not only experience. Yeah, I mean, it's about, about 32 years in higher education. So 32 years when I start, I start as if you start. I was in Algeria, I was teaching. And let me just, I mean, to, uh, to, make, me, to make you comfortable. When I was in UK to, for my study, my mother asked me a question. Uh, when you finish, when you graduate, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to teach in the university. This is you know, the answer in Arabic. She said to me, that's it, teaching in university. But she ma'roof. So I think the thing, I mean, uh, the 13 years in Algeria and the 20 years from different environment that uh, I got, alhamdulillah, I have the chance, I said I have the chance uh, to learn and I'm still learning. And I think this is what we have to accept it. Even, يعني, I go to the uh, uh, hadith, or I don't know if I'm, I'm not allowed to say hadith, abhathu an al-ilm min al-mahdi ila al-lahdi. It means it never stops. It never stops. 
And of course, when you are talking about the society, how, what is the proportion of people that they ask, they know what you are doing? And most of the people on the society, what they are looking, are looking for something tangible. They are not looking for what you are doing, how much you are sleeping, what is the process. This is why I think it's time. This is what I said. Yani the, the university professors in general, whatever the grade, whatever the position, we have to consider the society and we have to produce something concrete. And let me tell you exactly, for example, in my university, KFUPM, we are ranked number four in the world in the patent. So, of course, we, we are proud here, we said we are the fourth, etc. But at the end, what we have done with this patent? This is the big question. Now, this, the university is changing. He said, okay, it's time to sell our patents. It's the same logic. It's the same logic. When you go to the society, I don't know what is your area. Management. Management. Okay, when you go to the management, how you can make your area of specialization more tangible? Because you remember the society, the proportion of illiterate people, if you are talking about Algeria, I can talk about even other countries. But in Algeria, the number of illiterate is very high. You accept it or not. So this is why he is looking of something concrete that he can touch it. He's not looking for what you are producing as papers, etc. And let me tell you, uh, this is why I, I, I ask uh, Dr. Leela to give me much more time because I have to make a summary and also answer uh, my colleague here. Is it, is it possible to extend just for five minutes? We have uh, time until, uh, until, uh, yeah, uh, until uh, th 13 a.m. Mr. Amin, okay. yeah. I think, I think the problem here in Algeria uh, is not uh, this, uh, the same as the same problem as uh, in other countries. The problem is here in Algeria is a systemic problem. You have to change the mind of, uh, of people here. They see the the, uh, the teacher or the uh, worker in the university as uh, someone that has a role in the society. Yeah. I, I understand. How to convince them? How to convince the people that we are doing something? Uh, you know, uh, in 2009, uh, I was, uh, it was my first year in university. Uh, I remember the newspaper called Al Khabar did a bad marketing for teachers. They, they are uh, selling, let's say, selling information or, or bad information that teachers has their wages uh, more than 20 million uh, dinar, you know. Let me, uh, let but, me, let but me. In let fact, but in fact, the, the, uh, the teacher in university doesn't touch it in, in, even in uh, his dreams, you know. You know, I mean, I told you, I told you the problem in Algeria, I told them the problem in developing countries, I think we have to, to build a bridge between the university and the business environment. And this bridge is not built. When I, any, well, I mean, when I graduated and I joined university in Tlemcen, I was teaching in Tlemcen, and of course, all the time we are talking to build the bridge. Now, about 32 years, this bridge is not already built until now. So how you can accept, how you can, how you can I mean, uh, convince the other side, the people in the other side saying to them, okay, we are producing. They don't understand, they're not concrete things. And let you, me, let me just... It. They want a concrete thing. Of course, and you can do it. You can do it, I and mean, then I, I if, give you- If I, I got the opportunity to invest. No, 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 I will sorry. show them something. The opportunity you created by yourself. This is the difference. You or the opportunity we have to create it by ourselves. For example, in my case, I, t I mean, I was working in university in Algeria for 13 years. Now yeah. I'm working, yes. I have three uh, functions. First of all, I am, as you said, as a faculty member. I am here to, uh, to teach. I am doing research and I am doing also consulting for business firms. So it means here what I have learned during this number of years now, I am going to the business environment and they're creating a value to my knowledge. 
Yes. But the problem, I think, I, I agree with you, the society, I mean, even if you go to the business environment, so this is the thing that I think the, the new government and the, the new president is talking about the startup. So it is time for you as, as a faculty now to contribute. Of course, in management, your role is to coach people. For example, I talk, I mean, I talk about the issue that happened over the world, that the startup, we have to start, I mean, to, because the, the idea, it's just an idea. So how you can coach people in management side, in technical side, in uh, uh, psychological side. Let me, let me just, I mean, give me just two minutes to explain to you. Corona, COVID-19, is a plenty of dilemma. Yeah. kabira. Information contradictory. How do you expect from a simple guy in Algeria, in Yemen, in Palestine, in Iraq, to accept the idea that it is a virus? This small virus, people, they said, wash your hand and it, you kill the virus. But this washing your hand now, I see something help. Transportation is stopped, economy is stopped, etc. So, Automatically, we as university, faculty, researchers, and this is what I told you, we have to put hand on hand. In management, in management, you are supposed to do something. In marketing, he is supposed to do something. In finance, he has to do something, etc. So this is why, for example, I, I will share you, I share with my, our experience in KFUPM. With Corona now, we are not talking about different departments. Now we are talking about multidisciplinary. Disciplinary. Exactly. So, uh, for example, someone in engineering, even mechanical engineering or uh, electrical engineering, he needs some courses in management because he has going to develop a machine, he has to develop a robot, he has to develop something. He doesn't know how to manage it. You as a manager, you, you as a faculty or you are specialized in area of management, you have to show him how to plan, how to organize, how to direct, how to control. So this is what, what, what I mean by that. And don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't say, Halas, hang up, I stop. No. I am older than you and I have still have the energy to go for another 30 years again, if Allah... It depends on Allah if you give me hayat. Inshallah. So don't hang up. This is the advantage. And I told all to my students, when I am as a faculty member, I am still young. Why? Because in front of me, in front of me, when I am in the classroom, I have 22, 24, 23, 25 years. So it's an energy for me. So yeah. this is okay. the thing. So this is what I said to you. Yani, Stakeholders, when I was talking this morning, when I, when I said the stakeholders, this means that there is no difference between you as a student, you as a faculty. You, no, there is, we have to work together. This is why, I mean, once you explain to your student, the student goes to his family and said, Dr. Hassan, whatever he's doing, etc., he will send a message to his family that Dr. Hassan or Dr. X is not sleeping. Is doing something. So this is what we need. So we don't need to hang up. And I said to you, go ahead. We have to create our energy by ourselves. For example, if I take my example, I don't want to talk about myself. But for example, uh, the, in, uh, in the, uh, before the, the adhesion of uh, Saudi Arabia and the World uh, Organization uh, to, World Trade Organization, uh, WTO. WTO, yeah, WTO. Uh, I was member. I was member of the committee. I am, I am a foreigner and Ajnabi, and I was there. I was there and I contribute. And what happened? The adhesion of Saudi Arabia come and they have the file. It's here with me, the whole file. I said to you. I never hang up. I went to Ministry of Commerce of Algeria. I said, I am ready to help you. So I never stop. Yeah. Even, I know that there are challenges. Al-Hayat Jihad. 
الحياه جهاد اوكي سوري فروم يو Sorry from you, Dr. Ben Hassan and Dr. Nahari. We must give the mic to other researchers to participate in the discussion. Thank you again. Lubna, please, you can give the mic to Dr. Basil Al-Khudari. Thank you so much for this. And actually, I would like to share, Dr. My brother, Ben Hassan, and uh, just share our experience about uh, how uh, our students see us as lecturers or as faculty members. And has uh, many negatives and has many negatives as well. And uh, e-learning actually put more efforts on us as uh, faculty members uh, because we have to follow the students. Uh, from my experience, for me actually, I uh, uh, set up a, 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 a WhatsApp group for each module in addition to the Moodle uh, uh, program. So we recorded the uh, lectures, we uh, saved the lectures in the uh, uh, Google Drive, and then we sent the lectures to the students. The students can uh, uh, attend the lecture, the recorded lecture or live lectures, and then they uh, send their uh, questions uh, over the uh, WhatsApp group. And then we can you know, uh, uh, share them with the uh, knowledge. So uh, the efforts actually was very, very hard for this. And the students, because they show, they, see, they saw uh, our efforts, we have lots of appreciation from the students themselves about our work. So they can actually evaluate their work and they can actually give you appreciation about uh, this issue. Moving to the second point, uh, one, one of the most important uh, terms that was mentioned yesterday by Dr. I mean, and I actually thank you for this, uh, it's, uh, which was shared experiences. Nowadays, I think the whole world are moving to e-learning. Even when we uh, uh, overcome the problem of the COVID-19, I think the e-learning now is very, since very crucial term will be uh, regarded in the future. So my suggestion in this area, and, the, and I actually, I would like to use this webinar to uh, uh, say that our problem in Arab countries is related to lack of research. We actually have a, a lack of research. And I suggest that as a, a recommendation of this webinar to uh, build or in, uh, establish a body of uh, a research center related to e-learning because this is very, very important. We need to know more about the e-learning. We need to conduct research about the e-learning. We need to benefit from our experiences in the different Arab countries to share all of these ex experiences, to share all of this knowledge together, to benefit from each other in, the, in terms of e-learning because we have to more about this issue and we have to benefit more about this issue. We, have, we need to know about the negatives or uh, uh, disadvantages of the e-learning and how we can overcome of these uh, uh, e-learning because as uh, my brother uh, Ben Hassan mentioned that it's, it's, it's a big difference between the formal education at the university and education and e-learning education. So we need to actually to solve this gap between uh, uh, these issues. So I would just suggest that if we can from this webinar, use this webinar to establish a research center related to e-learning or we can actually, if someone has this idea to uh, conduct another another uh, uh, conference or webinar in terms of e-learning only, because it's very, very important. And through e-learning, we can approach the community, we can approach the students, we can approach the organization as a whole in, in, in our community. So this is what I would like to see, and thank you very much for your so, giving me this time. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Doctor. Uh, I see uh, the raised hand of uh, Dr. Tahseen Shola. Do you have anything to add? Dr. Tahseen? Uh, regarding the Professor Adil, I, didn't, I don't think that anyone uh, answered his question. Regarding the practice, uh, we've got lots of virtual labs, so it could be applied because I don't expect that this catastrophe will last more than three months. So uh, after three months, everything should, 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 go, uh, should come back to normal. And then uh, the student can just apply, uh, I will use just hands on on the practice. So virtual labs not solve out lots of problems regarding the education and the practical issues. And the second thing with this debate, 
regarding application of the research uh, and uh, sort of like uh, we do research but most of the researchers in the Arabic world they don't use the business to apply the research very simply very simply what we have to do is just to look for innovation and entrepreneurship so what does it mean innovation uh, uh, we have to simplify the idea apply it with a very just small amount of money that's the, the main idea of innovation so if we support our students to do this i think that we will just get a new generation of uh, innovators like very simply in my university the students in level a one just level one year one i sort of like support them to run a specific project and i advise them to make their project as a commercial product so what what was the outcome of supporting my, my students what they have done they already tried to design a connection just they made a microscope connected with a laptop so that's what is the main idea behind supporting the students to be innovative and supporting the researcher from the beginning to apply the research. Thank you so much for everyone, and that's all for me. Uh, thank you, dear uh, the doctor. Uh, I think that uh, we must uh, stop here and close the discussion uh, session. Uh, please uh, give us between uh, five and 10 minutes uh, and we will come back to uh, cite the recommendation of uh, the recommendations of this uh, event. So we'll see you after uh, five or ten minutes. Thank you.
First, uh, 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 the engineer Busetta Sajia Sadia, uh, to she, she has uh, something to 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 tell to us. She's an engineer and uh, so the Safari Studio uh, manager, uh, our partner in this uh, event, and uh, she is also a teacher in uh, a teacher trainer in uh, ICT. So, uh, Madam Busetta, uh, the mic is yours. Okay, hello everybody. So uh, my English is not very well, but I try to uh, uh, to be understood. So uh, I was very happy to, to be with you in this webinar and I congratulate all of you for the excellent presentations and very interesting uh, discussions, which meets our expectation as parents, educators, professors, and uh, students. And I agree with, Ms. with Mr. Amin Nahari when he said we must uh, work together so uh, uh, what I can say that it was very enriching for me to work with uh, Dr. Amr Shotli. Uh, thank you. And for all the team uh, for the University of Burj Baradij. And uh, so my message, uh, we must go together as uh, uh, Mr. Nahari said, uh, and uh, thank you for all of you. For now. And uh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, I agree with you, uh, Madam Busetta, and uh, thank you for your col collaboration during uh, the preparation and during this uh, the, the two days of this uh, webinar. Uh, so now uh, I kindly invite uh, uh, Professor Abdel Haqboubetra, Director of Burj Baradij University, to uh, let us know about his uh, uh, last uh, speech. So uh, please, Lubna. Um, shift the mic to the Professor Abdel Haq. Hello. We can hear you. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, first of all, <coughs> for uh, closing this uh, webinar, this conference, I would like just uh, uh, to add maybe some uh, comments in, a, in a response to all the uh, questions that they were uh, asked. I think uh, the idea of this uh, webinar uh, gives us an opportunity to uh, especially think about the future. So uh, uh, this, uh, like I said yesterday, that uh, this health crisis now, uh, that we are experience, uh, experiencing uh, is uh, put, uh, ourselves in a new, in an expected uh, and complex context. So we are in a new complex uh, context. So we, uh, uh, the world will never be the same as before. So we have to uh, to think about or to look ahead about uh, uh, new ideas especially for, for the uh, uh, university. Uh, so I can see that the future university will be a virtual university within 10 or... And this will uh, uh, at least save, uh, save us many things. At least will uh, save us uh, money uh, to pay for infrastructure, for electricity, for water, etc. So we will invest, I think, in the future in research, and there will be more uh, need for money in research collaboration between uh, different uh, universities, either locally or internationally. So this is the main point. The, the second point also, I think that uh, uh, however good science, you need also good politics too. You need good politics too. So uh, I think it's not only Algeria, who will rethink uh, her educational system, I think all the world will rethink his uh, education system. Maybe let me here put uh, a point uh, for our uh, friends and uh, brother from uh, the, the different universities of the world. 
to give them an idea about the Algerian university, uh, uh, the Algerian university. It's a complex system. So now we have around one, two million students, which is not an easy thing, which is not, uh, 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 which is a complex system that need more money, that need more teachers, that need more new uh, management systems, etc. So uh, to make uh, criticism, it's easy sometimes. To make criticism, it's very easy. But when you are uh, in the position of uh, as a decision maker, it's not that easy to uh, to uh, to speak about things uh, in that easy way. Uh, let me uh, say uh, things uh, like that. So I think that the future of the university will uh, will be uh, another thing. We are moving. Uh, as uh, I said it uh, before, as a professor in computer science, that we are, we are now moving from a brick school to a click school in the future. So uh, this moving needs uh, money, of course, and needs also more experts. And teachers should learn also new things, should uh, learn new uh, tools. It's not only the tools, it should. Uh, have a new uh, pedagogical uh, uh, concept. Should see the uh, situation in a, a, a different uh, way. And this, it can be uh, summarized that we can customize our blended learning model. So now we have a classical learning model. So we have to change it because the future uh, 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 learning model will be an interactive one, a dynamic one with students, and it will be more uh, more democratic and it will be uh, uh, more transparent, if I can say that. Why more democratic? Because in our classical system, actually, we need to gather all the students in one uh, in one hour or in uh, in one day or something like that. But now students can learn at any time can learn at daytime, at nighttime, etc. So we should think that world is changing. So for us, it's now uh, time to think to think uh, uh, in another way. It's not only for Algeria or or only for the Arabic countries. No, it's for all the world, for all the universities of the world. So don't think that uh, the other universities are advancing. They are suffering the same thing that we are suffering too. So, uh, uh, and the other thing, so we need to develop in the future in, in our uh, learning uh, systems, new concepts on uh, demand. Uh, uh, emerging from, uh, uh, like you say, from students and in the future maybe uh, they will be uh, citizens, maybe they will be electronic citizens, maybe they will be uh, other things. And maybe we, uh, we need another uh, system of uh, education. So uh, this is the main idea. There is a lot of work that is uh, to, to do for, for the whole world, not only the Arabic country, for the whole world, for all the universities. For this, the future uh, will be for uh, collaboration research between all the universities of the world, not only the, all the universities. So maybe they will bring the, uh, the solution uh, uh, or the different uh, the solutions for the humanity. Uh, for uh, maybe I add just another comment for Dr. Ben uh, when he spoke about uh, 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 the artificial respiratory device that we developed in our universities. Uh, I agree with him in some contexts that uh, effectively things are a little bit slow, but we are advancing. We are now next week for the, with the electronic factory of uh, Bel Abbas. So uh, our uh, teachers will move there to do the different experiences because it's not that easy to, especially to, to give uh, an okay because there is a, a medical protocol that we, uh, we need to follow to respect, uh, at least to go to the uh, industrialized situation. We hope uh, that it will go, but the time is needed and especially for those kind of devices, because it's, we are talking about health 
of, uh, of people. At the end, I would like uh, uh, to close, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to each of you who uh, participated in this uh, webinar. Uh, I can say uh, uh, 24th until uh, today, Thursday 25th of June uh, 2020. Uh, for me, I am very happy that the conference was very uh, successful. Uh, joining, uh, as I see, over, uh, I think, uh, 100 participants, something like that, uh, from uh, different countries, at least eight uh, countries, from Asia, from Europe, from Saudi Arabia, from, from different uh, uh, countries. So I can uh, say that uh, we have had two very uh, rewarding uh, days filled with interesting session and presentation, as I am uh, saying. And uh, hopefully, uh, uh, I hope that you enjoy both the scientific part, and even there is no social part, but at least uh, we, uh, we did uh, uh, some uh, contact, we, we start to know each other, we start to know uh, each other. And I am sure that the cooperation with most of you will continue in the near future, either with our universities, or uh, uh, with the uh, laboratory of uh, uh, Professor uh, Shurki. And also I would like to give a special thank to uh, all the speakers of the conference or the webinar and the uh, organizers, both committees, the, uh, the organizing committee and the scientific committee, and also to Madame uh, Busetta uh, from Safari uh, uh, Studio, and also uh, uh, a special uh, thank to our uh, uh, colleague uh, from the University of Batna, who I am seeing her, she's doing uh, her, her best to, to have uh, success. So thank you, uh, uh, Leila Sheha, uh, for this uh, effort you are doing. And uh, I hope I didn't forget somebody. So I thank you all and wish uh, all the best for the future. And just I say that the University of Sburbarish is ready to uh, develop a collaboration with uh, all people interested either from, from Arabic world or, or from European uh, uh, world or either from American world. So we are open to all the new ideas that bring uh, uh, more, <coughs> uh, uh, that bring uh, uh, more support to our university. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, uh, dear professor, for your support uh, to uh, to this uh, webinar. Uh, thank you, and maybe we have we will have uh, thank you. maybe we will have other uh, opportunities to work together. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. We are not uh, hearing okay. you. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, Professor uh, Bubetra, for your uh, speech. And uh, uh, inshallah, we will have uh, other opportunities to um, work together. And thank you for your support uh, of, uh, given to this uh, webinar. Okay. Uh, the end uh, is uh, getting close. So I. Do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you okay. perfectly. Uh, the, uh, as I have said, the end is getting close, and I invite I, I invite Doctor uh, Professor Shutri to cite uh, the recommendations uh, in uh, Arabic and uh, and then in uh, English uh, language. So uh, the mic is yours, Professor. بارك الله فيك ليلى شيخة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طبعا لكل نشاط نهاية ننهي هذه الندوة الدولية أو لا أقول الدولية وإنما العالمية الأولى لمخبر دراسات اقتصادية حول المناطق الصناعية في ظل الدور الجديد للجامعة حالة برج بوراريج جامعة العلامة محمد البشير الإبراهيمي بورج بوراريج الجزائر في الواقع عندما عادة عندما إنسان يقوم بندوة عالمية تعد الأولى 
تقنيا بهذا الزخم وبهذا الحجم فبالتاكيد هناك يعني فريق عمل استطاع ان يقودني ويقود هذا المخبر الى هذا النجاح على الاقل من وجهه نظري الشكر موصول اولا الى رئيس الجامعه البروفيسور عبد الحق بوبطر الذي قدم لي كل الدعم لانجاز هذه الندوه ووقف الى جانب المخبر في كل تفاصيل هذه الندوه وحيثياتها وحيثياتها عفوا فهو مشكور وان شاء الله ستكون لنا اعمال اخرى اكثر قوه فنحن نسعى لتصنيف الجامعه الجزائريه وطبعا الجامعه العربيه بشكل عام الشكر موصول ايضا للاتحاد العربي للتنميه المستدامه والبيئه ممثل في الدكتور اشرف عبد العزيز وكل من معه الذين طبعا رافقونا في هذه الندوه وكان له دعمهم يعني واضحا جدا وطبعا يربطنا ان شاء الله معهم ايضا اتفاقات شراكه فرئيس الجامعه تمت دعوته رسميا لحضور المؤتمر العاشر للاتحاد العربي للتنميه المستدامه والبيئه في بمصر ان شاء الله ممكن في شهر سبتمبر سنعلن عن ذلك قريبا الشكر موصول ايضا للبروفيسوره المعروفه الاستاذه صباح يشي اللي هي باحثه لها صولات ولها جولات وهي مديره مخبر ايضا على الدعم الذي قدمت وتعتذر طبعا لانه لديها ايضا انشغالات اخرى اخرى الشكر موصول للجنه التعليميه الشك... آه، عفوا العلميه الشكر موصول للجنه التنظيميه الشكر موصول لكل من رافقنا طيله هذه الايام فقط عندي شكر آه، ايضا خاص للثلاثي الذي اشتغلت معه فانا الذي يعرفني متعود على جو البحث الى غير ذلك لكن اول مره يعني اجد نفسي مع جو التنظيم الى غير ذلك ولولا هؤلاء لما نجحت هذه الدوره فعلا اللي هي تاتي الاستاذه القديره ليلى شيخه من جامعه بيتنا واحد الاستاذ المعروف حبيطوش وهو استاذ بقسم اللغه الانجليزيه الذي ايضا رافقني في في كل صغيره وكبيره ترتبط بهذه الندوه الطالبه المستقبل لبنى ناصر وهي من العناصر لبنى نعم ناصر وهي من العناصر الممتازه في مخبرنا اشكر الجميع الذي رافقني واعانني وخاصه الخبراء والاساتذه من مختلف الدول العربية والإسلامية والأجنبية من الصين ومن الهند ومن إنجلترا ومن ماليزيا وكل الوطن العربي وخاصة الحضور المميز للجامعة اليمنية أشكرها كثيرا على هذه الوقفة أيضا نختم الشكر لا يمكن أن أختم الشكر بالجامعة الفلسطينية أيضا التي تبعتنا وطلبت رابط الدخول للندوة بقوة هي أيضا مشكورة أنا عندي فقط أكيد عندي ملاحظتين بالنسبة للكوفيد 19 ومستقبل الأزمات وخدمة الجامعة المجتمع أقول كوفيد 19 هو كوفيد هو كوفيد 19 أو كورونا فيروس هو مرض هو الموت هو الحجر هو السجن ممكن احنا نتكلم عن الاثار عن الدروس عن الاستخدامات لهذا الفيروس اوكي اما هو فيبقى فيروس يبقى الحجر الموت المرض الى غير ذلك ثاني حاجه العالم يتغير وفي موروثنا الحضاري كاين هناك شيئان الشيء الاول الايه الكريمه تقول وقول اعملوا فسيرى الله عملكم ورسوله والمؤمنون وستردون إلى عالم الغيب والشهادة فينبئكم بما كنتم تعملون فالعمل عبادة الغرب تطور لأنه كان يعمل أفضل من الجميع شئنا أم أبينا هناك موروث حضاري آخر أطلب العلم ولو بالصين وفي هذه الملاحظات الثلاث لكل واحد منا تحليلاته 
ولكل واحد منا توقعاته ولكل واحد منا استراتيجياته سواء كأصحاب قرار سواء كجامعات سواء كمجتمع أشكر الجميع وإن نسيت أي أحد لم أذكره لم أذكره عفوا في الـ في الـ التحيات والشكر فأنا آسفة المهم مرحبا بالجزير بالجميع في جزائر الشهداء الآن أقرأ التوصيات طبعا بناء على تدخلات الكثير من الإخوة الأساتذة والعلماء الباحثين الخبراء خاصة أولئك الذين كان لهم يعني حضورا مميزا خاصة الدكتور أمين نهار يعني هو الباقي الإخوة أيضا جاءتنا توصيات من خلال أوراق البحثية المعتمدة من خلال ملاحظاتنا الشخصية إلى غير ذلك نحن راح نعطيها فقط ملخص لأنه سنعيد تنظيمها سنرسلها عبر الإيميلات للتنقيح حتى نرسلها لأصحاب القرار في الجزائر أول توصية هي توفير الجاهزية المطلوبة مثل البنية التحتية والتدريب لتسهيل استفادة المجتمع من خدمة التعليم الإلكتروني إدراج أنشطة خدمة خدمة المجتمع ضمن معايير تقييم أداء الجامعة ومواردها البشرية تقديم تحفيزات تحفيزات ضريبية للمؤسسات التي تشارك الجامعة في أنشطة خدمة المجتمع تثمين كل المبادرات والأنشطة التي تندرج ضمن خدمة المجتمع في ظل الأزمات ضرورة اعتماد وزارة التعليم العالي والبحث العلمي استراتيجية استراتيجية عفوا جديدة لتحقيق التنمية المستدامة من خلال توسيع بعض التخصصات العلمية التي تقدم مختلف الخدمات للأسرة والمجتمع مثل علم الاجتماع العائلي والعمل الاجتماعي علم الاجتماع العائلي كما قلت والطفولة والرعاية الاجتماعية علم البيولوجيا والتغذية علم النفس العيادي الاقتصاد تطبيقات جديدة للتكنولوجيا في الإعلام الآلي أهمية توظيف المرشد الاجتماعي العائلي أو المختص الاجتماعي العائلي خاصة في المؤسسات التعليمية الاستشفائية لترسيخ معارف ثقافية اجتماعية وصحية وأخلاقية عند مختلف الفئات لتغيير سلوكاتهم وممارساتهم الاجتماعية السلبية إلى إيجابية داخل وخارج الأسرة وتعلمهم كيفية التعامل الإيجابي مع مختلف المشاكل والأزمات أخيرا العمل أو ما قبل الأخير عفوا العمل على إنشاء مؤسسات إقليمية أو دولية تبحث في تأهيل دور الجامعة في خدمة المجتمع مثل الاتحاد العربي للتنمية المستدامة والبيئة فلماذا لا يكون لنا اتحادا عربيا أو إسلاميا لخدمة الجامعة لمجتمعها أو حتى بالتعاون مع شركائنا في الدول المتقدمة العمل على إشراك الكفاءات الجزائرية في الخارج للاستفادة من تجارب الدولية في إطار خدمة الجامعة والمجتمع قد تكون هناك توصيات أخرى ستضاف بعد التنقيح من قبل علمائنا ومن قبل علمائنا وخبرائنا أشكر الجميع بارك الله فيكم Thank you ليلى دكتورة التوصيات باللغة الإنجليزية نعم تفضلي تفضل أستاذ حبيطوش لبناء الكلمة للدكتور حبيطوش السلام عليكم. عليكم السلام. We can hear you. Okay. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين. In the name of Allah, most gracious and most merciful, peace and the mercy of Allah be upon His Prophet Muhammad. First of all, I would like to thank Mrs. Shutri and the other staff, of course, especially Mrs. Shutri who has. Uh, who has, uh, to some extent, made this first webinar, international webinar, successful. As I cannot forget also the precious or the valuable uh, uh, efforts of the rector, Mr. Abdul Haq Boubatra, and all the staff. Uh, I, I, I would like to say also, I was very delighted to hear from all over the world uh, and benefit from researchers. Uh, really, I have benefited or studied a lot of new things for, for from uh, scientists all over the world, including the Arab world, of course. 
And as you have just uh, heard from Mrs. Shutri, the final uh, statement and recommendations, let's say recommendations. And these recommendations are translated into English. And I'm gonna read for, them, uh, read for you the recommendations and I hope that we'll, be, we'll find or be applied in the ground in the future, inshallah. So the first one, as was said by uh, Mrs. Shutri, was provided, provided the required readiness Provide the requirements such as infrastructure and training to facilitate making society benefit from e-learning service, electronic learning. Uh, number two, working to establish provincial, provincial or global institutions means that create institutions all over the world of research in order to valorize, in order to valorize, valorize the role of university in serving society. Number three, involving the Algerian competencies abroad, the competencies which are which are abroad. Those who are in different countries of the world should uh, should or to benefit from international experiences in the under the framework of university service to society. Number four, incorporating activities of serving society means that uh, activities that can provide something to our society under the criteria of evaluating university performance and its human resources. Number five, providing stimulations. I mean, tax motivations. We must motivate institutions or companies in general that share with university activities of serving society means that the company or institution in general should have a contribution in this sense. Valorizing all initiatives and activities are uh, included within society service in the light of crisis. That means that we must give uh, we should, we should encourage initiatives to and making or providing activities that can help society or to, prov to provide service to society, especially in these cases of, or in these crises uh, like Corona or COVID-19 and other, other crises. Number seven, the necessity to provide the political will, Rada CSIA, by the decision makers, means that decision makers have to, to provide the will or readiness uh, to make, to set policies that guarantee the development of university role in serving university with, uh, with uh, developed countries. Um, what we de the developed countries have to bear their historical responsibilities. Means that these developed countries have to be uh, helpful and you have to bear or assume their responsibility, historic responsibilities towards the developing nations or developing countries in terms of material and more. You must provide something of material and moral support to the developing countries. Number, number eight, Ministry of Higher Education. Uh, this recommendation is to be uh, applied or used or something, or something like that from the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research. So this institution has to adopt a new strategy to achieve sustainable development by expanding some practical disciplines that provide various services to family and society such as sociology of society, means to provide programs of specified for the, for, uh, the sociology of uh, society in general and family. People must be aware of the strategies or things they should take in cases of, of such crises. Social welfare, nutritional biology, clinical psychology and economics, new technology applications in automated media. Number nine, the need for the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research, da or number nine, yes. The importance of employing the family social counselor, especially in educational institutions, hospitals, to establish cultural, social, ethical, health knowledge, etc. cetera. Uh, these are the main recommendations uh, made by the staff 
of this first webinar. I would like to thank you again for your attention. Hope we meet again, inshallah, another day. Thank you, thank you, uh, doctor, for your collaboration. So uh, before uh, ending, uh, I would like to speak about uh, three uh, important uh, points. The first point uh, is that uh, this uh, webinar uh, has been evaluated with uh, uh, persons uh, behind uh, the scene uh, that I may uh, must uh, thank uh, thank them thank them. Uh, Lubna, uh, can you show us? Okay, you will uh, know who is uh, 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 who are these uh, persons uh, uh, in this uh, presentation. The second point is that uh, you will receive your uh, certificates by email. Uh, and uh, the third point is uh, if you have the intention to publish uh, your uh, papers, uh, please uh, complete them and uh, we, will, uh, I, uh, 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 we will send you by email the links uh, of the, of, uh, the Legendary Laboratory and the link of uh, the Journal of the University. Uh, so, uh, uh, to conclude, I, uh, it was uh, a big uh, honor for us to be uh, with the, such honorary researchers from different universities and uh, countries, and uh, we thank them for their uh, valuable papers and the discussions that uh, uh, I'm sure that they uh, provided uh, another for this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, and. Um, a big, uh, and we, we hope that we have reached um, the goals of this uh, scientific event. We apologize uh, if uh, for any uh, default. Uh, also, hope that uh, we will have uh, future scientific uh, opportunities to meet you again. Um, so, uh, a big thank. Uh, f to all the participants and guests uh, to be patient with us and uh, in the name of uh, Pro uh, Professor Abdel Haq and Professor Shutri, a big thank to Madame Bousita for uh, her uh, collaboration. So uh, thank you and uh, uh, see you. Have a nice time. Thank you. Thank you.